Alright guys, we're out here with the V-Fly Beacon, and no, I don't have the face app on. This is just what I look like, but we're going to test it out. So, I got my trusty and reliable Bot 5. We're going to strap it on here somehow. I think probably on the side, what I should have done is 3D printed something to put this in. I did that with my Hellgates on some of my quads. I should have probably done it with this, but, you know, it's kind of eager to get this out there. So, I'm probably going to strap it onto the side, maybe on the arm somewhere. But we need to get it on here. Um, it does come with the clear zip tie, like I told you, for the um, the LED to show up at night. But since we're doing this out in broad daylight, I'm just going to use a regular strap. So uh, let me go ahead and get this strapped in. I'll show you what I did. So even before that, actually, uh, I do want to let you know they should charge it. It does come with a slight charge, obviously, because it's a, a lipo. But you want to plug it in. I'm going to use this for now just to get it charged. Uh, there is a little red LED. Let me see if I can show you guys Can you see the little red LED right there? That indicates that it's charging. This is pretty much charged up. It's just doing that because I just replugged it in All right, so here it is uh, installed in my bot 5 this um, You know, obviously you might want to find a nicer spot to put it But since this is field testing I may need to remove it maybe pop it in another quad So I'm just gonna strap it on here. I did put the black zip tie uh, and it is kind of covering the LED, but we're not going to see the LED out here anyway. If I crash, I'll have my GoPro on and, you know, we'll be able to see what happens uh, when I crash as long as it's not hard enough of a crash where the GoPro stops working. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this on. We're going to hold down the button for 2.5 seconds. Let's see if we can hear that. All right, so it's activated. Uh, the quad is looking to be moving around at this point. That way it doesn't beep, but if we stop it'll start beeping that's when it starts going into the alarm mode but obviously I'm moving it again so say for example you're flying around and you're trying to do like a little gap thing in between uh, some girls legs and yes that has happened as you can see um, and you lose your quad you will find it from the little beeps but the little beeps are going for a little while I think five minutes then after that's a loud beep as I showed you earlier I'm gonna get strapped this on take a little bit of a flight and then see what happens all right so we're going to set it to low sensitivity which it probably already is at but i'll show you how to just change it we do need to have a powered usb press this button like you normally would to power it up two to five seconds and you're going to get an led flash and then you just got to press the button and we got two flashes for some reason my camera is not picking up the flashes but you can see the two flashes there now press it again I think we should get three for that's weird my camera does not pick up flashes you can see it reflecting there three flashes all right we're gonna take off This is a great time to discuss activating the buzzer before you fly so that's probably one of the downsides <laughs> I'm doing a review and I forgot to turn it on so I will do that for this flight all right
All right, so that, let me shut this off. That is an example of maybe not a small crash. I don't think that was that small. I couldn't see anyway because some, somebody was plugged in. Uh, but this is, a, this is a good example. What happens when you fly? People plug in, you lose your quad, maybe you crash. All these different things can happen. So now we know low setting works uh, with that type of crash. I'm sure, you know, something less. But what I wanted to do is actually test something. I'm just gonna let my quad drop very softly. Um, just drop it from, you know, yay height. I'm about five or six, four, about five, 10. Just drop it from this height. So let's see what happens. All right, that didn't do anything. So let me throw it even further. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, as long as you hear one beep, it is activated. So it did activate there. Okay, so it's working. Now we have it on medium sensitivity. Uh, let's see if it does anything from the drop of the A height. All right, so it is activated from that. As long as it beeps once, uh, it means it's gonna set off the alarm. So let's take a flight on medium setting. Hey, can you see me see i found it i didn't know where i crashed i had no dvr going just using the beeper so, there we go that's medium setting although <laughs> i don't know what i was trying to do there i was just trying to fly back into the trees maybe I, let me shut this off so i can talk but that was the anti-theft thing going off there in case someone grabs it off the tree before you i'm honestly not finding any real big difference I have to shake the quad so it doesn't keep beeping, but um, but it, it, the fact that it it works is is good enough for me. So this is on the high sensitivity. Let me just uh, drop it. I'm not even going to drop it from that high. You can see the reflection there. Uh, maybe by my stomach. Let's see what it what that does. As you can see, it beeped once, so um, it is activated. So it should go off any moment. But anyway, we're going to take a one last flight with the activation thing on hopefully i won't crash uh, just to see if it goes off on the high sensitivity Yeah, that definitely triggered the beeper. So at this point, it's beeping once, that means it's triggered. If I was not to have picked it up, the alarm would go off. And if I did pick it up after the alarm went off, then it would do that crazy beep. What I'm actually gonna do now is um, set it, not too far, but you know, far enough where I can see what the volume is like. And then uh, maybe do a comparison with the Hellgate and see what you guys think is louder this i don't know the hellgate does have a small 
uh, buzzer beeper thing uh, but it is pretty it's pretty decent but this one is a little bit bigger as you can see here uh, so we'll, we'll test that out too so I'm gonna go ahead and place this out there and let the alarm go off All right, so the alarm is going off full now. You can probably hear it. There you go. You can hear that. I really can't hear the marmot. I got the quads flying around me, which is fine, because I, I want to know what it sounds like if people are flying. The uh, v is definitely much louder. You can, you can see the difference. So we're gonna get up close. Sorry this video is long for just a buzzer, but I do, lo do like to be uh, thorough. But here we are. There they are. That's our marmot. Uh, so the three beeps is the marmot. That one. And that one is a V-fly. So definitely, what, maybe three times louder? Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. It's cheap. It works. Just want to thank uh, V-Fly or Vi-Fly, please. <laughs> don't kill me for pronouncing it wrong. It's spelled V-I-F-L-Y, so I don't know. But the product is good. The quality looks good. Um, nothing happened. Nothing broke. No, no, no uh, surface-mounted things or whatever. The USB is uh, on there. I was a little worried about the switch from pressing it so much, but you can see. Can you see? I don't know soldered on pretty good so hopefully that doesn't fly off if anything you can always epoxy it but uh other than that everything's cool uh this is only my first day with it i will leave it on for a little while i'll probably find the spot on a different quad but i'm definitely going to pick up more of these um yeah if there's any uh, further information i can give you it'll be in the description otherwise uh i'm gonna take a couple of flights if you want to hang out the rest of the video put a little more footage up and uh any questions or comments you can leave them below Oh, right here. <laughs> Holy shit.